What's up, y'all? This is Franchise Play. I got player faces, tattoos, and shoes with the Charlotte Bobcats. And we're going to start it off with Big Al. Al Jefferson. Now, a lot of the players did not get fresh haircuts, shaved up, all that when the, you know, when Next Gen took their pictures, but Al Jefferson did. The fade is on point. Killing him. Killing him right now. Is Al Jefferson the most underrated big man in the league? He's up there. I mean, 18 and 10 like every year pretty much. But his teams don't win. So is he really underrated if his teams ain't winning? I don't know. I don't know. Got on these hyperfuse 2000. Those are terrible. This is Kimba Walker. And I don't know what. They got little microwave Kimba because I don't know what they done did to him. Look, his head. Why is it? Look at his hair. It's like they sprinkled little burnt ham glaze on his, his head. Look like a burnt ham. And that ain't right. You don't put people. And then this obviously obvious. It's very obvious. The 2K14 is having a little bit of problems rendering dark skinned people. Now, y'all tell me it don't look like he got on two long black socks into some white capris. You know it do. You know it do. He got on these Under Armour shoes. Micro G ions. But he look like he got an overactive ion in his body that's making everything black. Michael Kid Gilchrist went to the same hair uh, dresser as uh, Kimber. Because his hair also has the black burnt ham glaze in it. I don't know what is going to look like black caramelized sugar in the head. And this is not, you know... I don't know what's going on with the hair. That spray they put in their head or something. I don't know. Um, but it ain't it ain't it ain't what it ain't what it should be. It ain't what it should be. But hey, you gotta go with what you gotta well, you gotta go with what you got. But uh MKG and Kimber Walker need to stay away from whoever it is burnt they scalp out. Because that's unhealthy. Now he got on these uh I think these is the Ray Allen uh Jordans. Yeah, the Air, uh, the Air Jordan 28 Ray Allens, P.E. Boy, that's a long name. Air Jordan 28 Ray Allen, physical education, whatever. This is Ben Gordon uh, after some shocking news. Why is his eyes bucked? Like, I can't believe it. They said, how many people died? I don't. My name is Ben Gordon, ain't it? I mean, his eyes ain't that big. His eyes is bucked. Like, what's going on? Money earning Mount Vernon. That Come on, can we slant them down a little bit? Cause his eyes, I, I never knew what, what is his tattoo? I don't know. It looked like a superhero holding a baby in between a bird with two wings and a basketball in his chest. Is that what that is supposed to be? It's probably really not what it is, but I do like the Hyper Dunk 2013s in this color. Very cool, I like that. Gerald Henderson is not happy about anything. He got the Look at the look on his face. Mm, I don't know about all that. Mm, I don't believe it. Do y'all remember though when he was in college? Duke, he played, he went to Duke. They were playing North Carolina. And he elbowed Tyler Hansbro in the face. Bust his face all open. I, at the time, I was like, dang, Gerald, that was kind of bogus. Then that was before I realized how dirty Tyler Hansbro is. So then I was like, he was probably some kind of retaliation for something Tyler Hansbro had done earlier. So whatever. This is the Air Jordan 28s. Uh, almost everybody on his team wearing Jordans. Of course, you know why. This is Ramon Sessions. He looked like junior middleweight champion of the world or something. Just some boxer that don't exist named El Ramon. El Ramon. I don't know if he's part Spanish, but he certainly looks part Latino here. El Ramon. The junior middleweight champion of the world, 27 and 2, with 20 knockouts and a very angry face. I don't know, but uh, he certain he. I don't know. Don't y'all think he kind of look like a boxer? And it's probably somebody that like some mixture of two people that 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 really do exist. But he looks like that. These shoes though, Reebok Sub Light Pros. I'm not mad at them. I kind of dig them. I don't know. They basic, but it, I think it's the colors. This, these Bobcat color schemes I'm digging. Cody Zella, the rookie, is just, he's, look at it. He just, first of all, his head is massive. Just like, doo-doo, kind of head. And then, now he just, hmm, 
is he just he smells something or he just something just really disgusted him and he turned his head away he's having a uh, kind of rookie year just mm, you know just here and there whatever very athletic runs the flow extremely well but um of course he got on George the prime dot flies you know we'll see what happens with him we'll see what happens now G- Gennaro Pargo he's not on the active roster right so when I went to the screen or whatever to show the guys faces he wasn't on the active roster and I was like hey it's Gennaro Pargo don't nobody care who cares I don't nobody cares about what Gennaro Pargo do he has on these uh, CP3 7s which is one of the best looking CP3s ever because most of the time they are ugly as his hell not this time I kind of feel I, I'm kind of feeling those Biz Mac Biombo. Look at look at what is this scar on his head? It looked like somebody tried to split his wig or something. Then on the other side, he got a lot of little speckles of speckles on his face. I don't know. And what uh, and then look at that that scar on his head look like like his mama dropped the uh, the mixer on his head, you know. She was reaching above on the counter to get something down and boop! Oh my god, and every time she look at it. They make a mask. I can't believe I dropped that whole thing on Bismack's head. Oh, the whole thing I dropped on his head. But what is a Bismack? That ain't even African. That sound like a hotel in Boston. We gonna go stay at the Bismack. They got rooms for seventy-five dollars a night. The Bismack. That I don't know. He got on Prime Dot Flies too. But I don't. I don't know where that. Can. I'd be interested to find out what a Bismack is. This is Jeffrey. Jeffrey Taylor. His head is also. Uh, slightly in proportion with the width of his shoulders. He got a his head got a big boom to it, and uh, even when you turn on the profile, look even more intimidating to a hat. He give a hat some hell, won't he? he? Did you know that Jeffrey Taylor's father played in Sweden professionally basketball, not like rugby or nothing, in, in basketball. Yeah, did you? I don't know if you knew that. You knew now. This is Josh McRoberts looking like a straight up stoner. Yes. Did he? Has he had a bath anytime this year? Cause it looks he looked real nasty. Just real nasty. He looked like it's just like somebody offered him a piece of candy. He just like, can I smoke it? If I can't smoke it, I don't want it. And that's just you shouldn't be that way. Does anybody on the Bobcats actually have tattoos though outside of Ben? I can't believe it, Gordon. I don't know, but he's the only one I think I've seen so far. Jeff Adrian, they they nailed this. I mean, they nailed it. But what? I don't. I don't. I'm trying to tell you. I don't understand his head, the shape of it. I don't get it. You know, on like on on on. I don't know. It looked like somebody took a football. Unzipped his head, slipped the football in, like, and just like this, is what you gonna ride? Your head, the angle can look at the from the tip top of the peak. That's a slope that is deadly. You could ski down his head, just like Aspen, Colorado, just slip straight down his head. It's something else. He looked tough though. He really do. He looked like he was knock somebody clean out. You don't want to mess with Jeff Adrian. He might be nice, but he just... Uh, and Anybody with a head like that got to be tough because he's probably been teased. He got on LeBron X Plus. Those look tight, too. And I'm right, really not a big LeBron shoe fan, but oh, boy. Anthony Tolliver. He like the hay. I like mashed potatoes. Oh, I'll go sleep. Oh, well, we're back. Hey. Oh, eh, oh, I sleep. I woke. <laughs> what is now? He look. It looks better than it did on 2K14. Courage it. But look at what is happening. Look, look at him. Look at him. Look at Anthony. Hello. The. Eh. I could do this all day. I really could. But I'ma leave him alone because but boy, Anthony Tolliver, I don't know who he made mad at the NBA 2K14 office. But they just want me to mess with him. And these little shoes ain't helping. These little shoes, these little 
Kevin Durant sixes are crazy. This is Brendan Haywood. He also is not on the active roster. So then again, like I said, nobody cares. He got on the hyper quickness. He ain't never been quick a day in his life, but that's what it is. This is the Charlotte Bobcats, and this was Player Faces, Tattoos, and Shoes. Y'all subscribe, follow, peace.